Hey, g'day legends, and thanks for tuning in. On this week's video, back on the Barra C1100 build, and in specifically, I want to get uh, rush repairs done on this thing on the floor pan in readiness so I can get the cab bolted back on the chassis. So do us a favor, grab your cup or your cowardy, kick back, relax, and enjoy the video. So like I was saying, I need to get the rush repairs done on the floor pan of this thing. As you can see, she's got a few speed holes going on and I'm going to get the floor pan sorted out first. Like it's got rust elsewhere, but I want to get the floor pan sorted out, get it painted in the underbody shorts so I can get it bolted back on the chassis for the last time. And I want to same deal with the firewall, get that painted before it goes on. I want to try something new, a technique I haven't used before this bit of bronzy brass, I want to use it to go from the underside of the floor pan and mig well from the top side. Not sure if it's going to work. Uh, like I say, these floor pans are a little bit thin, got a few speed holes in it, but in the interest of saving time uh, and saving the customers some money, that's what we've decided to sort of go with. Um, if I need to replace the floor pan, that's what I'll do, but I want to just give this a go first. Uh, and then, like I say, if that all works out, then I can get the underside of the ball, the underside of the floor painted in the body shorts, prep the fire, we'll do the same with that, and then we can yeah get it back on the chassis. So gonna give this thing a bit of a buff, get the rust and crap off here, and then yeah, see if this trick works, eh? So I went ahead and gave both the floor pans a bit of a clean up. You can see someone's had a bit of play here before um, with some brass by the look of it. So I'm gonna go ahead, yeah, get, um, I might start on the other side, actually do some test pieces and see if that bronze trick works. Uh, I'm hoping that it does. And if it does work, yeah, we can bowl these floor pans over pretty quick. So yeah, I'll just get in this test piece and see how she goes. So I was wondering, uh, I, I just went to use this piece of brass to uh, do the job and I realised um, the arms aren't sort of long enough but I just jerry-rigged the jack up here for a second, holding that piece of brass up, got the welder set up, <clears throat> I just attacked these spots here, could do that just with the welder, didn't need any backing behind it so they're all taken care of, obviously got to clean it up, but yeah just going to attack these, um, these holes here as the test piece with the brass and see how we go. to treat um so now i just got to work out how um yeah from where i can get the brass to the back of and uh keep on these weld holes up and this floor will be done pretty quick hopefully so i've gone ahead and got uh, re the rest of those holes welded up even that corner like um yeah i just sort of used that brass and it went to filling and it's just nailed it um yeah Got a bit of a cheat code happening here. Should have um, tried it earlier. So this side's done for now, the welding anyway. Obviously we've got to grind everything up, clean it up. But I just want to get all the welding done first. So as you can see, sort of, that's all the corners filled up. Um, plenty of grinding to do, but yeah, the the, rep, the weld repairs are done. So gonna do the same on this left-hand side. Get all these holes, these holes filled and yeah, move into these bigger pieces. So I'll probably set you up and yeah, get a bit of a time lapse happening and get these holes built. <laughs>
Alrighty, yeah, so I just came back from lunch. Uh, before I left up, I got all the grinding and finishing done on the floor pan. So I went ahead and hit it with this Rust-Oleum paint primer one. It gives a hammer tone finish. Really impressed with the stuff. Definitely gonna get some more of that. And yeah, it leaves a great texture. So this is all buttoned up along with the corner of the pillar there. That's all been finished off. So I haven't touched the driver side yet. So that's my next project. Gonna go grind all these spots up that I filled in with weld on the inside of the firewall and the outside of the firewall, get all that cleaned up. Then once that's done, I wanna finish sanding the welds up on the new tunnel on the firewall on the inside. I wanna strip the column, steer an intermediate shaft, get all this out and then yeah, paint the front half of the floor and the inner firewall with uh, this bully liner. So, Want to get that buttoned up and that'll um yeah that'll start making this thing look like um a bit of a finished product so but before that just a word from our sponsors eh right yeah today's sponsor is me bam 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 fabrication so as you might see we're in a snazzy new bucket hat uh that's available got a stack of them got still got stock of the old hats well say old hats but they they're all, all new obviously but yeah got those Got the stubby coolers, you need to keep your stubby cool or your can of soft drink like I've got at the minute. Got a stack of them in stock and the polos. Got a heap of these in stock. Uh, I am gonna get t-shirts made. T-shirts probably gonna be a different design. Gonna have the logo probably big on the back and that. But if any of you want polos, coolers, hats, bucket hats, just hit us up on yeah, Instagram or Messenger and we'll make it happen, eh? Let's get back to the video. Got all that uh, grinding done as you've seen, cleaned everything up, buffed up the um, the firewall there on the inside, got all that ready for prep. Got the spots on the firewall cleaned up, they're all um, taken care of, I'm not going to paint the firewall for now, it's just cut, coated an easy foss. Um, it's been the last, as you can see by the mess, it's been the last half hour unclogging the um, duster gun, so it's all set up, ready to go. Then I'm going to, um, yeah, going to go ahead and take care of from the, yeah floor, halfway through the floor, up the floor, we'll get that coated and see how she looks, eh? So here's the finished product. It's uh, not quite dry yet, still a bit wet. But yeah, really, really happy with how it's turned out. Uh, for the work we got done there today, um, yeah, really, really happy with it. It's come up a treat. That's uh, the trick using the, the little brass bronze plate. Um, yeah, definitely keeping that going. You can see this is all the damage that it's done to it. Like it doesn't, it doesn't pick up the brass, it just bounces off it, so. Yeah, worked an absolute treat. Um, same as this stuff, like I said, I'm definitely gonna go get some more of this. I got it from the man's toy shop. Um, yeah, looks looks a treat, works a treat. So yeah, definitely gonna keep going with those two. Obviously there's more rust to do on this thing, like you see on the rockers and the, and the scuttle panel and stuff. Like I've got uh, more rust repairs to do on this thing. Fire all needs finishing off on the underside of the floor. That'll be done. Uh, in the next video, but like I say, for what we've, how we've turned these floors around uh, and how it all looks now, I'm um, yeah really really happy with that. So I think I'm going to shut this video off now, everyone. Um, as always, I appreciate you watching. If you do us a favour, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one.